I had been a widow for 13 years and I met this wonderful man and as he said we corresponded and talked over the phone and I went out to California to see if we clicked and we did and that's when he told me about his diagnosis. I was diagnosed in December of 1998 with uh, CLL, chronic lymphocytic leukemia and uh, I was sure it was a death sentence because my older brother had was also diagnosed with CLL and lived three years so I thought my time here was short and it's been quite a few years ago and the folks at GBMC have done a great job of keeping me around and uh, I didn't scare her off with my diagnosis of cancer. It's not, it's not always a horrible thing. Some people hear cancer and they think it's the end of the world, but it really does not have to be anymore, you know? You never know about life. And who's to say he would go before I would? And he was such a wonderful person and we had something very special. And I, I couldn't see my, my life not being with Joe for the rest of my life. In our 10th anniversary, I was having chemo at GBMC that day, so uh, we spent that day here. And the nurses in the oncology unit, the infusion unit, they had a they presented us with a plant and a, a picture of themselves, which I thought was pretty funny. And uh, it was just a, it was a nice nice way to spend your anniversary. I, guess. <laughs> I, I will tell anybody that the from the nurses to the support staff here. Um, we met a lot of incredibly nice people, and they, they're not only concerned about Joe, but they're concerned about me. The nurses ask about Mary, you know, the daughter. Um, it's like we're, the whole unit is being treated, and, and that's something that um, we talk up GBMC all the time because we think they, they do a great job. I, just, I couldn't be happier. I wouldn't go anyplace else, and I say that without any bribery or any... <laughs> I just really, I really like GBMC. We look at this, I think, as a unit. Um, in fact, I, I have a tendency to say, well, we had infusion, and we did this. And um, um, we try to have a good time. And there's a saying out in the hallway that we like a great deal that says, life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's learning to dance in the rain. And we do that. We've made two cross-country trips in an RV, um, going from west to east and east to west. Um, we've seen a lot, and we've done a lot, and we've had a lot of fun. I say you have hope, you know, you got to have hope. Um, I went for about a year and a half. My body stopped producing red blood cells for some strange reason, and I was getting blood transfusions, two pints of blood every other week. and. Uh, I asked the doctor, I said, is this going to be my life now, getting transfusions? He said, probably, but uh, for that length of time. But all of a sudden, my body decided to start cranking out red blood cells again. And everything is fine in that, you know, that area. So you never know what's going to happen. You, you just got to have hope, you know. I think that's, that's the answer is have, you know, have hope.